Okay, so here's the deal. You have RA. It's unheard of that once you get a nodule, it goes away. This does not happen in the regular rheumatology world in RA. People think you've drank the Kool-Aid, but I'm asking you, like, you like, you had several nodules on your right hand where you couldn't even write. Can you make a fist right now? They yeah. were like this. I couldn't do this. Okay. They also have a vouch for me. Chat, is this true? It's true. Absolutely true. <laughs> Hey everyone, today we have an interview with Diane and her husband Chet, and they've been dealing with rheumatoid arthritis for a really long time. And as you will see on this interview, um, in the conventional rheumatological world, having nodules, having to the point where she's crawling around the house and intense pain like that, it's not something you can really come back from, right? Well, you'll see. Okay, Diane, okay, Chet, can you two introduce yourself? Okay, hi, I'm Diane Bubker. I um, was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis 12 years ago, and a year after that, Lyme disease, um, both from blood work, and um, I couldn't walk. And I spent years doing diets and trying uh, one test after another, then trying to figure out what was wrong with what else was wrong with me because I had all these other things going on. And um, I had an emergency hysterectomy four years ago and just was searching for answers. And I came across Dr. Maggie two years ago and kept sneaking back to your page. <sighs> and when something pulled at my heart, this, I, I, could, I got to the point this past year, I couldn't write and Thing, a lot of symptoms had returned after my emergency hysterectomy that even the clean eating wasn't working for me, mm -hmm. that I talked to my husband and I said, you know, I remember that woman I talked about from Oregon, because my family lives in Oregon. Oregon. Um, <laughs> I would really like to try this program. Mm -hmm. And I brought it be before him and he said he thought about it. And then he was like, all right. What was the hardest part of seeing your wife go through this? We, we had no life. I mean, it, it's, I was willing to go out and do stuff and she, she couldn't do anything. And, you know, we like going camping, like going hiking, but sometimes she couldn't do that because you know, she just had struggled with it. And now it's, like I said, after 20 years and now it's like having a brand new wife. She's got to constantly, you know, watch what she eats and, but she's got the knowledge to do, to go forward with this now. She has the knowledge. And sometimes she don't give herself enough credit because there was a couple of times that she was afraid to say anything and she diagnosed it herself on and the proper diagnosis from your program. Super smart. A couple of weeks ago. <laughs> so she was afraid to say anything, but she did it herself. And she was capable of doing I know she can do it. It was 12 years of not knowing when pain was going to happen. And times I couldn't use my hands. I couldn't even push a grocery cart, crawling around the house and being told I had a virus at first before I was even diagnosed. Um, my daughter was only four. So it was, we've gone through a lot. Right. Even our daughter was a little skeptical about the program at first. But now my daughter is fully into the program too. She like <laughs> She's throwing out all the gluten stuff in their cupboards. For <laughs> and they're, they're trying to convert me too. I love that. <laughs> All right, Diane, you have a win. Well, I was doing yoga this morning and I realized that um, my nodule in my right hand, I had a few of them developing and that's what brought me actually into the program, one of the things. And I couldn't write for two or three months. And all of us, I've been able to write uh, um, I was nervous that I wasn't going to be able to at the beginning of the program <laughs> with all the notes we have to take. But I realized I was able to, and I had another one on my left hand where my ring finger is. That one's gone too, but I, this one's still here, but they're, they're like going away. You're saying that there are nodules on your hand yes. that were there and they yeah. are, they have disappeared. Yes. Okay. I can't even write. I'm going to, and you had trouble writing. What, what's your autoimmune diagnosis if you have one, Diane? Rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. So here's the deal. You have RA. 
it's unheard of that once you get a nodule, it goes away. This does not happen in the regular rheumatology world in RA. So this is not a small deal, this is a big deal. People think you've drank the Kool-Aid, but I'm asking you, like, you like, you had several nodules on your right hand where you couldn't even write. Can you make a fist right now? Okay. Why I, and how? They were like you... this. They yeah. were like this. I couldn't do this. Okay. They also not vouch for me. Chet, is this true? It's true. Absolutely true. <laughs> when I go like this with my fingers, I can feel the inflammation. Yeah. It's like I test it all the time to see if it's gone. Yeah. And it, it's nothing like it was. Well, nothing is better than just being able to show that, like, you yeah. were like this before, and now you can make a full fist. And yeah. functionally, you can actually write. How, and just like over the last six weeks or so, how did this happen? What do you attribute that to? Because people want to know the secret sauce. The data. The, yeah. Yeah. Because um, the food doing the food module and finding out what my sensitivities actually were or what my intolerances were because um, trying to guess all the time and now I don't have to guess anymore. So when I cook now, I have such a passion and like the love of cooking is back because I don't have to guess anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, it, it's like it made me feel like I, I loved myself. I'm taking care of myself. And mm -hmm. I haven't felt that. I, it was always stressful to cook because trying to figure out what to eat and what not to eat. And now that I know, mm -hmm. I have this freedom. It's a freedom now instead of feeling like I got a guess. And it's such a joy. It really is. There's such a joy I have in me. Question, Chet. Yes. I'm going to put you on the spot. What's something that you've seen Diane be able to do now, effortlessly, that like even a month ago that you thought was impossible? What's something you've witnessed yourself or have done with Diane that even like a month ago you would have thought wasn't possible? She's always had a problem with walking because of the nodules and then her hands, like she couldn't squeeze her hand in the fist at all. Mm -hmm. Her one finger would never, never bend, never. Mm -hmm. But now she's doing it and, and, and her whole, you know, her whole positive attitude has changed drastically before, you know, for how long she's come along. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's like having a new wife, <laughs> like having a brand new wife. <laughs> it's like having a, your girlfriend back. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's, we're, we're like 20 years in our marriage and this is like starting all uh -huh. over again. Like, really? Really? It's awesome. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It is awesome. I love that. Um, okay, so I'm going to ask you guys another question, which is, why would you say, and either one of you can answer, why would you say you almost didn't do the program? If there was one reason why you almost didn't do it, what would it be? The cost. It's the, the cost, but the thing is, is she's been certain levels before, and nothing's really worked. And this is yeah. like, and it's, 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 when you start going through program after program after program, you get discouraged. Mm -hmm. So now, is there, this is another program. Is this going to work or is this not going to work? We, you know, you don't know. You don't know. But when she started having some results, because mm -hmm. she was saying, you know, this is nothing going on here. I said, just give it time. Be patient with it. Because I had a good feeling about it from the beginning. And right now, who would you recommend this program for? Oh, my gosh, everybody. To see all those women that are on there, and even men. And, you, you know, the average person does not know what's going on in the world because of this stuff. And the doctors are misdiagnosing it. They just don't know. Until you start seeing it firsthand, it's a, it's a game changer. You know, Chad, you said that you guys both have gone through a lot of programs and done a lot of different things and have spent a lot of money and time with dealing with your RA. Um, in your experience, just having gone through, you're not even done with the program, but, and you guys are kind of in the middle of this. My question for you is what, is, what is it that's so different about what you have experienced in this program compared to everything else that you've done? Data. I think it's the data. Everything's, you know, it's, it's, it's more involved than just a simple blood work. It, it's way involved because now when I watch those charts and I'm telling her these people are deficient in this and that, so I'm starting to learn some of it myself. <laughs> but she's more involved than I am. The data, but also I, I think it's all of it together. And the mindset has helped me tremendously um, in thinking about the future and not day to day wondering, mm -hmm. how, you know, uh, what I could do tomorrow and it, it revolving around the pain 
or whether I'm going to have a flare or not have a flare. It's like to dream again and to think about a future and think about opening a business and using mm -hmm. the gifts I have and sewing and crafts and it's just exciting. It's like, it's like ignited like this flame and my passion, the passion that's been in me. It's like, it's dr dreaming all over again. Cause I got my mind back too. <laughs> well, that was one of your biggest complaints in the beginning of the program was how bad the brain fog was, right? Yeah. I never understood that when she was talking about brain fog, but now after watching these people go through and talking about it, now I have a better understanding of what she, go, what she was going through at the time. And I didn't well, know yeah. it. Well, now you know the difference. Like, right. That's the other thing is, is, to me, it's almost like the frog sitting in the, in the hot water, slowly increasing the temperature. You don't even know you're sitting in boiling water, right? And right. so for me, like, now that you have Diane without brain fog, do you, are you able to now look back to say, oh, that was Diane for the last decade with brain fog? Yes, yeah, absolutely. My, my you, eyes are open to doing this whole program. Now, getting something about you now is, I was just told her tonight, is with you, is like people live inside of a box. And what you try to do is have them break the walls down that box and have them start thinking for themselves and educating them yeah. and, and having them troubleshoot it. Not just, you can give them the answer. Anybody can give you an answer, but you want them to really think of their mind to get the answer for themselves and figure it out. Well, here's the thing. I tell people that anybody can give you an answer and here's the deal, here's the big difference. If I do my job right, what I've taught you is the skill of right. being able exactly. to understand what's behind all these recommendations and what's behind all the data you have a skill to understand it so you can actually troubleshoot that for the rest of your life so i teach people the skill of right. the educational background needed to be able to troubleshoot for the rest of your life so you truly can be the pilot in your health and not just a passive passenger being recipient of all the stuff being thrown at you without rhyme or reason. And most of the stuff doesn't even work. Right. Yes. Big difference. Yeah. It's awesome. It is awesome. Chat, what do you think is your favorite part of working with me? And then I'll ask Diane. You know what? You're firm, you have fun, but you're right to the point. Mm -hmm. And that's, it's, it's just amazing because it's like, you know, you got your little spunk with you once in a while, you know, to get people to think because you want them to think because they don't want to, but you've got to, you have a way of getting them to think their own thought process. You use their thought process instead of yours. I love that. With me, it was you sharing what you've been through and yeah. your testimony. That really touched my heart. And um, it, that, uh, the, the positive. So from what you've come to in your positive energy, and that's like so contagious, <laughs> like right through the inner, it's so contagious. Right. And it's like, wow, you know, I, I can't even, I can't, I don't even have words for it, but mm -hmm. it's, it's like, wow, if she came through that and there's got to be something there. And obviously through the program, you learn what it is. You know, funny is, Diane, is that people wouldn't have always, what you just said there is not what somebody would say about me even five, six years ago. And, you know, and I, I shared some of the, um, how bad things really were for me. And I've shared some in the trauma episode that I did about autoimmune disease and trauma. But it's like this, uh, for me, I came out of a really shitty, dark place. Uh, and every negative thought that you've had, including self-harm, I've been there and I've done it. And so for me, like, it, it actually, for me to hear you say that the, um, one of the things you love is the joy and the laughter is really, I mean, that's for me coming full circle because I'm really glad that I'm able to now be able to, from that dark place came a lot of life lessons um, and gifts, right? And so I'm really grateful that you said that because for me, it's like, it gives my life meaning. Look at the people you're touching through this whole process. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just amazing. It's amazing because it, it starts with one person, then they talk to another person yeah. and, and it starts to keep mm -hmm. snowballing. And that's what we want. We want to help each other out to Thank serve you. other people. Thank you. If you saw me like six years ago, 
even, you know, I've been dealing with autoimmunity for quite some time and it's been a 24 year medical career. But if you met me six years or even seven years, six, seven years ago, and, and you met me now, you wouldn't think I was the same person. So for me, I, I mean, I feel like I am a living example that transformation can and do happen. And my mission now is to make it happen and help it make it happen for other people. And that I know the way to do it is by education and mindset, changing how people think. Because that's how sure. I did it. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining me on that interview with Diane and Chet. Are they adorable or what? To me, uh, Diane is an incredible example of someone dealing with a big autoimmune diagnosis with a lot of permanent type damage conventionally with all these nodules in her hand and crawling around the house with decreasing mobility and crazy brain fog, right? That's the kind of stuff that, you know, you're not supposed to be able to reverse or turn around or transform in any way. I love her story about how she's now able to make a fist, how she's writing with her hand, how she's cooking in the kitchen with love and joy, and how she loves herself again. This is really huge. And just having an incredible supportive spouse to boot uh, and having the whole family in on it is just uh, added bonuses. I hope you enjoyed the interview as much as I did. Um, if you uh, feel like someone else can benefit from watching this interview, um, go ahead and uh, put their name in the comment section below because sharing is caring. They may not listen to you, but they may listen to Chet or Diane, right? And for those of you who are watching this on YouTube or Instagram, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, uh, and let me know where you're watching from in the comment section and what struggles you're dealing with. Love it. And if you haven't joined our Facebook group, make sure you join our Facebook group, Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally. All right. Thanks, everybody.